In this lesson, we are going to discuss market imperfections. Why markets fail? What is economic efficiency? Meanings of externality? Difference between social cost and social benefits? Cost benefit analysis? Market failure exists when market fails to bring economic efficiency in the country. Economic efficiency means the presence of productive efficiency and allocative efficiency. Productive efficiency means that goods are produced at least cost methods available. Least cost means the minimum possible cost in terms of money and opportunity cost. Allocative efficiency means that products which are most wanted are produced. In other words, scarce resources are allocated for the production of the high priority products. There are a number of reasons for market failure. The main reasons could be externality, merits and demerits goods public goods, information failure, adverse selection, or moral hazards, where monopolistic elements operates in the markets, where there are concerns about the distribution of income and wealth. Externality means possible social cost and social benefits which any society is having due to the business activity around them. The term externality is used to explain the impact of any business activity outside the business environment to the society. And those who are not directly involved in business activity are affected with such decisions. Positive externality. If society is better off and people enjoy the benefits from the business activity. We call it positive externality. For example, the employment opportunities in the society due to start of a factory is considered positive externality. Negative externality, if society is worst off and people are adversely affected with business activity, we call it negative externality. For example, the pollution caused by the factory in the city is considered negative externality. If we search for the sewage treatment plant Dubai, we find number of images. Here these trucks they gather the filth and sewage from the entire city and bring it to the plant and then plant process this material and provide the fertilizer to the trees and the gardens. There are some positive and some negative effects of this sewage treatment plant. The positive point is that it helps in keeping the city clean because all these sewage trucks they gather filth and garbage from entire city and transport it to the plant and plant process this material and produce fertilizer. Whereas the negative impact can be the fumes and unpleasant smell which is coming out of the trucks. From this discussion, we are able to understand the concept of social cost and benefits. There are two types of cost. Number one, private cost and number two, external costs. Likewise, we have two types of benefits, the private benefits and external benefits. Private costs are the cost of doing business and these are paid by the business itself. These are also known as the internal costs of the business. Private benefits are gains of doing business and these are paid to the business itself. They are the internal benefits and which normally goes to the stakeholders who are directly involved into the business activity. External costs, these are the disadvantages which any society suffers with due to business activity. It is also known as negative externality, for example, pollution, traffic jams, noise, damaging roads, overpopulation, 
destruction of natural habitats of wildlife and flowers, cutting down the trees and so on. External benefits, these are advantages which any society enjoys with due to the business activity. This is also known as positive externality. For example, increase in employment opportunities, new roads, development of new markets, workshops, banks, increase in training facilities, and so on. Now, so far as social cost and social benefits are concerned, so social cost is the we can calculate social cost by adding private cost and external cost. So, external cost plus private cost is equal to social cost. Likewise, social benefits, adding private benefits and external benefits, we get social benefits of business activity. So, external benefits plus private benefits is equal to social benefits. Cost benefit analysis is the valuation by the government agency of all social costs and benefits resulting from a business decision. When social costs are more than the social benefits, the business activity will cause market failure and it should not be taken up. And when social cost is less than social benefits, the business activity is socially viable and it should be taken up. In order to do the cost benefit analysis, we go through the following steps. Number one, identification of all relevant cost and benefits from the projects. Putting a monetary value to all relevant cost and benefit. Forecasting future cost and benefit where appropriate. And then we take the decisions by interpreting the results from the cost benefit analysis. Merits and demerits scores are also cause of market failure. Merit goods are those goods and services which are provided to the society by the state and people take advantage of these goods without knowing how important these goods are for them. For example, education services and hospitals, they are the good examples of merit goods. On the other hand, demerit goods are those goods which are harmful for people but they don't you stop using it because they don't know how harmful they are. For example, smoking. Public goods are those goods which is allowed to all consumers or people in the society to use it. And uh, everyone can take advantage without competing each other. Now, for example, street lights and public parks are the examples of public goods. There are two conditions we should be met in order to declare whether the product is public good or not. Number one, it must be non-excludable. Non-excludable means that once the product is made available to one consumer, all other consumers cannot be stopped using it. Number two, it must be non-rival. Non-rival means that more and more people consume the product, the benefits to those already consuming the product is not diminishing. The problem of public good is that they are considered important by the people, but people are happy only in the free right. They desire for it, but they are not ready to pay for it. In such cases, especially in the free market economy, these goods are not produced. Other factors are information failure, adverse selection, and moral hazards. Failure of information means that consumers are not able to perceive completely about the positive or negative effects of using a product, or they may not have the correct information about the product. This will also cause market failure. Adverse selection occurs when the seller values the good more highly than the buyer because the seller has a better understanding of the value of the good. For example, an insurance company might sell health insurance to a person who is not serious about his health. Moral hazards, it is the asymmetry in information or inability to control behavior after the deal. Moral hazard is occurred due to the better control on the deal. For example, 
a person who is sick and his disease is hidden he does not disclose his problem to the insurance company and buys the insurance to take the advantage monopolies can also be the reason of the market failure monopolies occurred when single seller or the group of sellers they take full control over the total supply of the product in that case they charge very high price than the expected and they do not allow the market forces to work freely in setting the price level sometimes the market failure exists due to the unequal distribution of wealth unequal distribution of wealth is economic factor in especially in underdeveloped economies due to unequal distribution of wealth the products which are important for the vast majorities are is not produced because the producer of those products they cannot find the right price for that particular product so whenever there is market failure it justifies the government intervention in the economic activities government try to minimize the effect of these factors which are causing the market failure so that economic efficiency can be restored so that's all in this lesson thank you very much